Barcelona in Barcelona. It doesn't get any bigger than that. But there Chelsea went to face mighty Barca, the hot favourites for this season's next-gen series. The Londoners finished third in their group behind CSK, Moscow and Ajax. And after a thrill draw with the Dutch giants, they found themselves with the experience of a lifetime. Mighty Barca in the shadow of the new Camp. The Catalans themselves topping the group containing Andelect of Belgium, Tottenham and German powerhouse Wolfsburg. So a Chelsea side back in Catalonia after the well-remembered Champions League semi-finals of last season when the Londoners caused one of the biggest upsets in this part of Europe. Schoolboy Jeremy Boga runs right from the beginning of the game. The unstoppable Frenchman putting through Alex Kawamia, but Cameroonian keeper Joseph Obogu was well placed. Minutes later, Tog Kane found the space to cross to Islam Farouz again. Obogu was in his way. Boga taking on the whole of Barca. Tog Kane again appeared from the right and the perfect cross for Islam Farouz allowed the Somalian-born Scottish striker to put the Blues 1-0 up. Into the second half and Barcelona tried to strike back with this Nando chance that ended up wide. With the clock starting to tick down, Barca coach Jordi Vinales started to worry due to Barca's poor finish and despite their dominance in possession, now Ayala shooting wide. Ten minutes to go and emotions were running high. Ventura combined with Sergei Sampa, who failed to find Ayala thanks to Mitchell Beanie's quick reaction. This time Ventura went for it, but again the shot was wide. Then the killer blow arrived. Boga once more unstoppable, this time decided to do everything himself and with seconds to go, Chelsea finished Barcelona off. 2-0 for the Blues and Dermot Drummy's team knocked the next-gen series favourites out and once again against the odds, the Chelsea side left Catalonia full of glory. just a fantastic experience. Barcelona have been so hospitable to us. We had lunch with their coaches and their technical director. Uh, really very friendly, open. We, we were asking them questions, if you like, trying to learn off them, to be honest. Uh, and then you play a team that play football, I think, fantastic in the right manner. Uh, the, the problems they pose you as a coach, you can't just go, we're going to attack. You can't. Uh, and we had to respect that. Um, but I'm very proud uh, of the players, the way they reacted to the situation. Sending off was right. He'll learn from it. But we defended to the hill. I don't think we time wasted. I don't think we smashed the ball out. We tried to play out. So credit to our boys. You know, they'll learn. We've got an under 16 that scored the second goal. 
uh, and we've got midfielders that have been dogged. Yep, it's the other side of the game. We normally have the game, uh, so to, we know it's great to come here and see our level. Yeah, to be fair, you know, uh, first half it was a bit of bit of both. You know, we got our lucky goal on the break, but I think we had a few chances to get a goal, so in kind of a way we deserved it. Second half, you know, we've gone down to ten men quite early, and you know we've kind of followed the footsteps of the first team. What they did, ten men, and we've come through to win it. I think the the grit and determination of the team was superb. That, that's what made us win the game. I think I think to Chelsea, they know, the academy is a big thing. You know, there's a big investment in the academy from the owner, and there's a, it's fantastically run by Neil Bath, Michael Emanalo. We work hard. Uh, we, we're trying to produce players the right way. Uh, we're trying to evolve. Um, daily, I see, I see the work every day, and I've been at Arsenal, I've been at Chelsea, and, and we do fantastic work. Uh, but we've got to get a push for a player in the first team to see if they can make that next step. You know, so this result it can only help the mentality of, of everybody. It's, it's, we've got to take positivity out of this.